Hey guys, how's it going? So today I have a different type of video for you. So I'm in a Tesla, just got the uh, 10.8 full self-driving beta update as long as the holiday, as well as the holiday update. And we are going for a little drive, testing it out here to see how it does. And um, yeah, so just so you guys know, the blue steering wheel up there means that it is driving itself, doing all maneuvers by itself. I'll let you know if I uh, intervene in any way or disengage it. If it gets rid of the blue, then that means that it's no longer driving itself. So uh, we are going on a drive here. I have a couple destinations put in. We're going to see how it performs, see if there are any changes, any things that are different. And um, yeah, so the regen braking is supposed to be better coming to a stop. There's supposed to be more regen being used versus the actual brakes, so that is good. Wow, okay, so the turn was good. <laughs> When to go, deciding when to go was good. The acceleration in the middle of the turn was not the best. But it was, uh, it did it. So one of the biggest things that I've had issue with is how close the car stays to the center double yellow line. And right now it seems okay, but a lot of times on right curves it is so close or on the yellow line sometimes it goes over and I usually pull this up to see the the distance between uh, each side of the car just to make sure I'm not crazy but yeah so let's see this is a pretty big intersection let's see we're just heading straight let's see what lane it decides to get into okay this is fine there have been some pretty aggressive drivers out today so, <laughs> hopefully that doesn't cause too much of an issue. So, the new visualization also is now able to be pulled full screen, which is awesome. The only issue that I have with it at the moment is that I like seeing the navigation and where the car thinks it wants to go. Okay, that was really good navigating that. It slowed down a little bit because it was unsure what the car's... Um, I think on the right, because it was getting a little bit close to me. So that was good. So I like seeing the navigation, especially since it can change the navigation route as it's driving. So I want to know if it's about to turn on to a random road. Just so you guys know as well, um, it does make sure that I, or the driver... Um, is paying attention so it'll nag you every once in a while to put your hand on the wheel keep your eyes ahead and uh, there's a camera watching me just to make sure and also my left hand is typically on the oh, not sure what that was I took over there because it kind of darted into that center turning lane not exactly sure why because our turn is in for a little bit more okay let's see what it does because this is double yellow okay okay wow dodging this car a little bit I guess wow okay I'm actually surprised that it got in between the double yellows it seems like a very scary situation for the car because typically it likes to uh, not cross the double yellows. That was actually really good besides that little mishap before. All right, this is clear on both ways. There's literally no cars either way. Car is very cautious, which is fine. It's better than not being cautious. 
right, avoiding that car. Avoiding this car on the left. Nice. Alright, so I have to stop it and put it. Oh! Alright. I don't have to put it in park, I guess I just have to stop. Alright, next leg of our trip. So there's no stop sign here. The left direction has a stop sign, but I don't. I'm gonna slow it down to 20, because this is kinda crazy. There's a pedestrian here. Okay, cool. Points for waving to the pedestrian, I guess. That was nice. For some reason, the neighborhoods around here, some of them have 30 mile an hour speed limits, which is fast for a neighborhood. All right, so we're not, oh, okay. As so long as it pulls into the right lane. Okay. Made me slightly nervous, but I mean, it knew what it was doing because this car on the left here was coming up, which I almost stopped it for, but. Ooh, I took all my willpower not to. <laughs> it's difficult when you know you don't know like if the car is gonna pull into that lane or not. But I kind of felt the steering wheel uh, turning tighter, so I let it do its thing. Right, this is doing well here. Even with all this mess on the road, all the repairs. All right, that was a very nice stop, very gentle. Bit like, barely using the brakes. Just regen, it felt like. And that was a nice turn, cool. All right. Nice. I'm, uh, I'm having some good vibes so far from 10.8. Hopefully I don't jinx it. Alright, that was another nice stop. Nice acceleration. Oh, it down. Yeah, look at how see we're just so close to the center there. Man, it's it's one thing that I'm just like that it would make it so much less stressful for me if it was just a little bit more over to the right. Hey dog. Okay. Over the yellow line on that curve. Not a good look. This is a pretty tight left turn. It has visibility of the cars on the left. I mean, we're going to have a light too, but... It should be able to see where it wants to go. Visualization is showing it well. It's taking a bit to accelerate. I gave it a little bit of gas, but I let go of it. Alright. Oh, dodging that car. I took over there because it was not taking that turn tight enough. Alright, so uh, we're going to do one more leg. Put this address in and let's go. Oh, dial it down.
Alright, so we're making a left and then a fairly quick right. Come on, 10.8, you can do it. I believe. Let's see, I have a little bit difficult visibility on the right. Left is fine now. Right is okay. Okay, left is no longer okay. Okay, it's stopping, good. Left is good, right is good. Is it gonna go? Okay. Okay. It took a little bit of time, but it did it. And wow. Whew. And it, like, stopped right there. Huh. <laughs> so, it turned a little bit to the left first. And I think that oncoming car was a little bit, uh, concerned before it turned right. So, that was not... Ooh, not cute. Okay. Alright, it is our turn. There's a car coming up on the left here, but we got here first. It has been pretty good at deciding when it is its turn to, uh, like, turn at a four-way intersection, for example. I feel like it's surprisingly good at that. coming on the right and ahead we got here first so me and the car in front should go first but the car is letting that on the right go and now we should go that was fine all right we are just about at our destination just got one more turn to make Oh, that was cr kind of crazy. It didn't want to turn there. Man, that was such a weird. I'm like, I'm like disappointed in it because I, because I know it could do it. It's like my, it's like a child. I felt so bad because I know it could do it, but it didn't. Oh, look at these doggies. Hi. All right, so one more leg of our trip. I lied, sorry. We are heading left. I'm feeling good about this drive. <sighs> Even with that last turn, I still feel pretty good. I still feel pretty good that 10.8 is uh, decent. Now, I can't say I have noticed any huge significant changes, except maybe the use of regen when coming to stops. It used to use the brake quite a lot. So it is a nice comfort feature as being added so that's good but other than that I can't pinpoint any noticeable uh, differences in this short drive but we will have to see as time goes on what it looks like and what it does So we're going to be coming up to an intersection with a left turn. Let's see how early it decides to get over. Interesting. Um, 
So we aren't, to my knowledge, we aren't turning right here. Okay, good. Yeah, it decided to get behind that car. Interesting choice, but it did what it wanted to do correctly, so. All right, okay, it got into the turning lane immediately, which is amazing, to be honest. Sometimes it gets in too late. Oh my gosh, look at all the cars. It's visualizing. Okay. It notices that car on the left already that it's going to be a car of interest. Wow. That was really nice. Wow. Okay. Okay, 10.8. <laughs> Okay, you can, uh, you can do some things. Alright, nice, we're getting over. I was just about to say we should probably get over. Just because we're not passing anybody and we have to turn right. Uh, somewhat soon anyway. All right, 10.8, we got two more right turns. That's all you got. That's all you got to do. I believe. Let's go. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, they need to change that. <laughs> this is new with it. I find myself either spinning this or moving this when I try to expand that. <laughs> and right turn, let's go, let's go, let's go. Awesome. All right. That was a pretty good drive, not gonna lie. There were some things that it had issues with, but overall, I felt pretty good. And like I said, like the only huge noticeable thing I was able to recognize here was the regen braking when coming to a stop. Um, other than that, uh, thank you guys for hanging out and watching. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye.